Hey guys, how's it going? Justin here, Keystone Mountain Outdoors. Welcome back to the channel. I'm excited to tell you guys, I finally got my first ever e-file form four approved. It took quite a bit longer than I anticipated. I got a bunch of others that are pending that seem to be taking a lot longer than I anticipated, but I'm excited that I finally got one back. I've done a bunch of suppressors the old paper filing way, and whenever the ATF announced the new e-file system in December of 2021, I was excited to give that a try out. The big claim to fame with the e-file form 4 process was that they were going to bring the wait times from about a year down to about 90 days or so, which is a little less than three months. Initially, a bunch of the guys that filed early were getting wait times really quick. Like some guys were getting them back in as quick as 30 to 40 days. There were a bunch of guys ranging in that 60 to 90 day wait time. And then it started to really kind of creep up as time went on. The current average sits at about 160 days. I think the ATF just released a press release about a week ago where they actually updated their quota and they took that 90 day and turned it into 160 days. Now, this particular e-form that I did here, I found all the way back in the middle of February, the overall day count ended up at 171 days till I got this thing approved, which was quite a long time. Some other things that I want to talk about, I got four more e-files that I've done that are currently in the pending stage, and they range anywhere from there's one that I filed three days after this, uh, there's some that are around the 90-day area right now. There's one that's around 60 and one that's around like 40 or so. So I'm all over the board. So hopefully I'll be able to get a good gauge in terms of when my other ones get approved if that wait time starts to creep down. I do think the wait time is a little bit higher than it'll probably end up being in a year or two just simply because they're approving a lot of February and March stamps right now. And it seems like that's when a lot of dealers caught on to the e-forms. And that's whenever a lot of guys started submitting their, their forms. It seems like there was like almost a plethora of forms just dumped into that pending stage in February, March. And it seems like a lot of us are paying for that by waiting a little bit longer than the guys that got in early or the guys that are going to end up getting in after us after the ATF catches up a little bit. So the e-file form four process, how different really was it? Well, technically it's still the same process. You're still going through the same background checks. You're still submitting your fingerprints. They just take a lot of that paperwork and make it electronic, which makes it a little bit easier on the consumer. Also makes it a little bit easier on the agent, which leads to the little bit shorter of a wait time. So even at the 160 average time turnaround time that it's sitting at right now, that's still right around a, a little under that six month mark. So they did cut the wait time in half, which I think is pretty damn good. I'm happy with that. I wish it was the 90 days. I wish it was less. I wish suppressors weren't on the NFA, but it, it's definitely better than it was before. My last suppressors that I did took around 11 and a half months to get approved. And this one was under six months and they were both filed under a trust. So I really am excited to see kind of how this e-file form four process kind of plays out. Those of you guys that are watching the video, if you guys have any sort of information, if you guys want to talk about, you know, how fast you got your e-form approved, definitely drop that down in the comment section below. I would love to hear from a bunch of guys. There's a really good thread over on Reddit where guys are posting approval dates of e-file form fours. And it's a really good log to kind of see what time frame you should expect to get yours back in. Now it was kind of weird because there were a lot of guys the first week of February getting forms approved and I'm sitting there with a February 14th uh, uh, submitted date and I'm sitting there thinking, oh, maybe in a week or two, maybe in a week or two. And it ended up being a couple months after those guys that got in the first week of February. So it's kind of crazy how the wait times definitely seem to fluctuate all over the place. It's the government. None of that makes sense anyway. So I guess it's par for the course with them. But guys, that's all I got for you guys today. We'll be taking this thing out. We'll be shooting it. We'll be doing an overview probably here in the next couple of weeks. I'll get that video uploaded. I'll have a lot of other cans, four other cans that are currently pending. So we'll be talking about those whenever those come in. And as I start to put some rounds through this and get some, uh, some real good solid data built up with it, we'll be doing reviews on all this different stuff. Got a lot of stuff planned for the channel. Unfortunately, we haven't been uploading a lot. I've been really busy. A lot of stuff to add planned for the channel fell through for one reason or another, both on my end and on other people's 
comes in, which isn't really that big of a deal, but you know, there's still a lot planned for the channel. We're still going to be making videos. I apologize for the delay. And for those of you guys that hung around, for those of you guys that are watching the video, man, I love you guys. The support the channel gets, you guys have been shooting me messages, DMing me on Instagram. There's been a lot of guys that I've chatted with that I've kind of made friends with as a result of the channel. And I really appreciate that, guys. So as always, remember to train hard, shoot fast, and most importantly, be safe. God bless.